it's one thing to go take animals out into the classroom, whether it be snakes or rabbits or chickens. But the most important thing that we do that's different is we go from this point of nature in your hand to saving nature. The Insect Discovery Lab was created to put nature into the hands of children. People and zoos and aquariums uh, were not really saving nature. They were using animals, they were getting people excited about nature, but they never gave them the opportunity to do anything about it. So we created the Adopt an Acre program, and we created the Adopt a Reef program, so people could personally protect habitat in the wild. We created the conservation parking meter, which is a parking meter that has this beautiful crown graphic that says, give your change to make a change. For us, saving habitat, saving ecosystems, made all the difference. All these zoos said, we want to have something where the public can help. And they never had that before. And all of a sudden, SaveNature.org and the Center for Ecosystem Survival took off with raising funds that went directly to purchase and protect habitat. Kids get inspired about life on Earth, but if you don't give them the opportunity to actually save it, I think we're missing a great opportunity. Insect Discovery Lab really strives to teach people, children and adults about insects and the natural world and how important they are and how they aren't scary and get them excited about it. Awesome. We give presentations at schools and birthday parties as well as go to tabling events. It's an educational program that includes the experiential component, so they learn a lot about the animals if they didn't already know. I did all the programs when we first started. I did 90 in the first year and I thought, man, that's a lot of work. Now, of course, today we do 800. So everybody stand up with your arms above your head. Try to be a walking stick. I'm about to come by and see if you're a good walking stick. We're going out to schools from San Francisco to San Jose, from San Francisco up to Santa Rosa, 50 miles in any direction. So we reach about 38,000 children every year. Children that love the presentations at Insect Discovery Lab. They want to hold all of them and learn about stick. them. This is another The response moves usually from unfamiliarity to great affection and enthusiasm. They always ask, can I hold it again? Do you have more? They're very excited. The key thing about having animals in captivity or animals in labs is that you have to be responsible. It's no different than a zoo or an aquarium because if you run out of cheetahs, you shouldn't be going back to the wild to get more cheetahs. Here at the Insect Discovery Lab, we have incredible uh, husbandry uh, manager here and it's his responsibility to breed these animals here at the lab. My name is William McKennett and my job title is Manager of Invertebrate Husbandry. I come in and take care of the bugs six days a week. I do all the breeding. We breed all the walking sticks, the grasshoppers. Um, I'm currently breeding the millipedes and the darkling beetles. None of the bugs that we use for the presentations are harmful. The Insect Discovery Lab changes children's lives. Everyone has their hand out. Everyone wants to touch the animals once they see that uh, this is something not to fear. Hold on. Have you ever holded a beetle? Me? Well, I haven't. You haven't found a beetle before? It's your lucky day. We've had tremendous success with the Insect Discovery Lab. The organization has been recognized uh, by the work we do with children and education of children, especially around the environment and eco-literacy. We've had schools that have gone from experiencing the lab to making that decision 
to come up with new ideas on how to save nature. We have had close to 1,500 schools, if not more, that have participated in our Adopt an Acre and Adopt a Reef program. And we have over 150 zoos and aquariums that are our partners. The greatest reward is knowing that there are places uh, and millions and millions of acres that have been set aside in Costa Rica, Peru, Bolivia, Brazil, Panama, coral reefs in Palau, Micronesia, and Komodo Islands, in deserts of the world. Every day educators go out, we're saving places in the world. We're inspiring other people to save places. And that is the piece that we do, I think, better than anybody else.